Hey, Royals fans, welcome to another edition of On the Line with myself, Dylan Coyle, the voice of the Reading Royals. And I'm alongside Ryan Ruck, the newest goaltender to the team, the first goalie signed to the Royals this offseason. Ryan, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Of course. So uh, let's just dive right into it. You're from California. What made you want to play hockey? So it's, it's a pretty funny story. Uh, I was born in Arizona when I was six years old. We moved from Arizona to California. When we moved from Arizona to California, my mom wanted me to obviously make some friends. Like I'm at a young age and um, she just wanted to make sure that I was happy along with my sister. And so when we first got there, all of my neighbors played roller hockey. And so she asked me if I wanted to play roller hockey. I said, no, like that sounds pretty horrible. Like doesn't sound like a, a me kind of sport. And she forced me to, I guess I cried the entire way, like on the way to the rink. Um, and once we got there, I just skated one-on-one -on -one with the coach and I absolutely loved it. Um, ever since then, I mean, I've stuck with it. It's been the only sport that I've really played besides golf and I love it. Awesome. Well, it, it served you well because you ended up going to Northeastern for four years. Um, you were the starter for the first two years there. You had some great numbers. You eventually transferred to Colorado. What was the main reason for you to go to Colorado? Was it just graduate school? Uh, yeah, so my junior year, I missed the season um, due to injuries. And so I ended up getting my junior year back. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it back until late in the season. Um, and by then, Northeastern already decided that they were going to have another guy come in. Um, so then my fifth year, uh, I still wanted to play college hockey one more year. I thought might as well go somewhere else and experience a new area. And when I went and visited Colorado Springs, it was absolutely beautiful and very different from Northeastern and the Boston lifestyle. So um, I thought I'd give it a shot and it was, it was awesome. I mean, the team was great. Uh, the coaches were great and the area was just absolutely magnificent. So you end up signing a contract with the Royals for the 2021 season and obviously nothing really happened because the Royals didn't end up playing. What eventually or what originally led to you wanting to sign with the Royals? Uh, well, my agent was pretty much the guy that set everything up. Uh, then once I first talked with the coaches and I knew actually a few guys on the team like Garrett Cecier, Garrett Cockrell, David Drake, all guys I've played with in the past, uh, only had great things to say about the team, organization and the community itself. So those facts kind of led me to an easy decision. You end up playing for the Mayhem in the SPHL and if anything it just served you extremely well. You had a 15-4 record and 931 save percentage. What was that season like, your first professional season? You really jumped into the deep end and you came out firing. Well, the start was pretty crazy. So as soon as um, Reading canceled the season or postponed the season due to COVID, um, I thought, okay, I might as well go back home. So my parents are in Virginia now, drove down to Virginia and was working out training there and staying at home. Um, then I got a call from the Indy Fuel in the, in the coast, different division, but they gave me a call and said, hey, we need a guy like tonight. Like, can you get a COVID test right now and drive all the way to Indy? And I said, of course. So I went go, went ahead and did that. I was there for a couple weeks. And then once the AHL guys got sent down, um, I got released and I kind of thought, okay, maybe the rest of the year is going to be kind of up in the air. Uh, then Kevin Kerr, the coach of the Mayhem, gave me a call and I ended up driving right from Indy to Macon um, right as training camp was winding down. Um, and we jumped right into it and it felt awesome just to play a game and during the whole COVID season, just because everything was so questionable. No one knew what was going to go on and it was incredible just being able to be around a bunch of guys, be in the locker room, be at the rink and skate every day and play games. Like, I, I loved it. Two levels below the NHL, you're playing in the coast. I mean, what does that mean for you? What does your play style, how are you going to adapt um, to the coast? Um, I mean, my style of play really fits the pro game, in my opinion, what from coaches and scouts have told me. So I'm excited to see how well it goes from SPHL to the ECHL. Then being only a couple steps below the NHL is awesome. I mean, it's it's a childhood dream. Like ever since I was probably six or seven years old when I first started playing hockey in California, I mean, it's always been the dream. And 
it's really it's it's crazy to think about that we're getting so close and we're making steps in the right direction so it's it's a nice feeling what kind of things do you like to do outside the ring love golf um really enjoy that i have two nieces my sister is a couple years older than me and she's she's got our life pretty much all settled down and whatnot so i have a, a one-year-old and three-year-old niece and they're both very adorable and i love hanging out with them as much as i can um also like just taking some hikes, going for walks, kind of exploring. And um, weird enough, I do like detailing cars. Uh, two summers ago, I started up a little mobile detailing company. Thank you so much, Ryan, for joining us on this edition of On The Line. This has been Dylan Coyle. Join us next week when we talk to the next signee of the Royals.